back talking about Eddie Hearn uh, interview with IFL TV. I'll link it into the description. Y'all know what it is. Your boy CJ Goodfellow, one time for the one time we grinding, Boston Clinic and more. And, um, you know, interview today, Eddie Hearn, um, you know, said that he might, you know, try to sign Alexander Usyk uh, to a deal. And he said, ultimately, let me say this first, ultimately Usyk's team wants to build up to an anti Joshua fight. All right. That's what they want to do. And right now, Tony Bell, you want uh, Alexander Usyk at Cruiserweight for all the belts, which is smart for uh, Bell. You out, you fight Usyk um, at Heavyweight, where you can fight him for all the, uh, the Cruiserweight belts. You know what I'm saying? It makes for a more lucrative fight and a more popular fight in the UK. And Eddie Hearn said that basically nobody knows Alexander Usyk. He's a hardcore fanatics type of fighter, and that's true. And he can help. I basically saying he can help Usyk cross over, you know, and get him that Anthony Joshua fight. Basically, he says if he beats Tony Bell, you he could fight the Dylan White, Joseph Parker winner, you know, I guess. And, and he could beat them and he could fight, um, you know, Anthony Joshua at some point. So, you know, Eddie Hearn is already plotting on trying to uh, get Alexander Usyk, Anthony Joshua. And that's what Alexander Usyk team wants. I guess they've been in negotiations. They've been chopping it up. And they probably expressed to him that they want to get him to fight Anthony Joshua. And in order to fight Anthony Joshua, they're going to want to build that up. You know, he says, you know, if you go on the street, the same thing, Water, and ask uh, fans like, uh, do you know who Alexander Usyk was? Most fans wouldn't know who he was. And that's a, that. this time, this is the actual fact. You know, he's a hardcore, like, folktale type of guy. Mo the amateurs don't be on TV like that no more. You know, Olympics and nobody like that. Back in the day, from what I understand, a lot of people used to watch the Olympics um, and used to, and used to have, get the notoriety by fighting, you know, with no headgear on and you could be synonymous with boxing. Your know, amateur fan base will cross over to the to the professionals because they had a rapport with you. They watched you in the am, in, in Olympics move up, win a gold medal, silver, bronze. Or they watched you compete really, really hard. Well, you know the boxing overall in America, even the amateur system. I can speak on that because that's where I'm at. All right, and the amateur system has failed. You know, it's not popular no more. It doesn't get the juice that it once did, and they haven't had a gold medal winner since Andre Ward on the men's side. All right. Um, shout out to Christian Shields for bringing two goals home. Uh, appreciate it, my baby. Y'all know what it is, Mr. Michigan thing. All right. But he's right, though. It's not, you know, he's not known. And Eddie Hearn basically is trying to go on. He's going to try to sign Alexander Usyk and do a partnership with his team to get him more known. And uh, like I said, Usyk has been fighting in America uh, for most of uh, some of his fights as well. I remember he fought Michael Hunter, who I just seen spar with Kovalev. And I'm like, they was getting some good work in. Um, but Michael Hunter had been off, been off two years, and you know nobody cares about the cruiserweight division in America, all right. And I just can never envision the cruiserweight division, you know, making the, the turn that the uh, super middleweight division did. I just can't envision that becoming popular because the super middleweight division was primarily uh, a European division, and uh, they kind of turned that around and it got some notoriety, some traction in America. But I don't see that happening for cruiserweight. The way Americans look at it, like, why you ain't just fighting a heavyweight? And Usyk is going to have to, uh, you know, strategically be moved at heavyweight, not because he can't compete, you know, versus that type of competition, but that he has to get the notoriety and the popularity. And I think uh, Eddie's going to get him that popularity by matchmaking him and, and, and selling and selling folk tales. But you already know he's going to try to stick Alexander Usyk on Deontay Wilder in the process and say, well, we can fight Usyk and you can fight him right now, and you know that's going to come. He he has to have an ace in the hole and. You know, potentially with Alexander Usyk, that could be his ace in the hole, you know, ultimately for Anthony Joshua. Because Joshua's come out and said he don't want the Dillian White fight. He even want uh, Fury or Anthony Joshua. So, uh, again, he's putting his foot in his mouth. But at the end of the day, it may be a plan in the works for Joshua and Fury to fight next year. I'm going to tell you this, this little plan. This is just a hypothesis, an educated guess for people who don't know what that is. This is my, my uh, hypothesis on the situation with Wilder and Fury and Joshua. Whatever you want to make it seem like. I think Wilder and Fury is going to fight next year. Probably in the springtime, April, March, you know, June or something like that in America. I think that's the plan. Let Fury get two or three more fights in by the end, however, however it goes, all right? And Wilder is going to fight Luis Ortiz on, as a part of a major pay-per-view card that Showtime is having, which is a mystery. And I ultimately think Earl Spence and Mikey Garcia will be on that card as well. So you might have two uh, co-main events. They might separate the venue or they might fight in the same card. Lord, do I know who will be the main event? I absolutely don't know. Um, that's up to Showtime. I think also you might get a Jerry Heard, uh, you know, Brian Castano, Carlos Castano, or, you know, a Jerry Heard, Kel Brook, or you might get a Jerry Heard, Jaime McGuire fight on that card as well. You know, Steven Espinosa said he's willing 
to go all out and put some of the biggest fights on that card as well as the Gary Russell Leo Santa Cruz fight. He gonna stack that card and they gonna try to uh, do a pay per view date on Showtime. And I think uh, Wilder and, and Ortiz. That's why Ortiz are taking a soft touch this weekend. I think eventually it'll 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 land on that card and they're trying to cook something up. While Eddie thinks he's playing checkers and Deontay Wilder team is playing. I mean, Eddie thinks he's playing chess and he thinks Wilder team is playing checkers. Ultimately, they playing chess and the behind the scenes and they keeping it low key. They're negotiating a fight with Tyson Fury for some time next year to belittle Anthony Joshua's potential fight with Adelian White, Joseph Parker, Brotsworth Puev. I just call him Brotsworth for fun. Kubrick Puev, uh, no pun intended. Um, and, and overshadow him in the winner of Fury and Wilder, which could be a very close fight if Fury can get back to what he once was, which I don't, don't think he can. Even though the Fury and Wilder fight in America don't bring as much revenue as AJ, I think ultimately the winner of that fight has to juice to, you know, be the A-side versus Joshua. And I think ultimately that's what that fight may boil down to, okay? But Eddie's going to try to sign Usyk and uh, prep him up to be an Anthony Joshua opponent. I linked the interview into the description. Always check the description, please. All the sources, links, and other things we got going on. We got a new college sports channel going on. If you're into college football, basketball, check the link out. S210 College Sports Most Wanted. But the link will take you straight to our page. We're about to get busy as the season approaches. Also, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We working. Loving, I'm loving to love Twitter. All right. So uh, all that information is there. You want to do a business collab or, or whatever it may be uh, on a business tip or video collab or whatever it may be. My business email is there for video requests or advice or, or just, you know, uh, you got a story. Just hit me up on Instagram, Instagram, Facebook or Twitter in the DM. All right. Also, don't forget the new Raw and Uncut Flames podcast by me, the Cali Enigma on CastBox. The link is there. You can sign up for CastBox just by clicking a button with Facebook or Google account. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy right there, all right? We raw and uncensored, political, music, entertainment, everything we can't say on YouTube, we say on there. And it's triple rated R, explicit, so I'm just giving you a heads up. Don't play it around any minors, all right? Real talk, though, you guys are going to enjoy it. Getting good reviews on CastBox and rate us and comment when you get over there. Don't forget, share this video, subscribe, subscribe. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to the LDBC one time for the one time we go.